Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a book review. Hey, today we're gonna do a review on the book Card Control by Arthur Buckley. Uh, this is a paperback book, okay? And it is one of the Dover reprints. Now a lot of the Dover reprints are actually classics of card magic. Uh, and they're easily t uh, able to reprint these uh, because a lot of them are old and uh, past their trademark copyright, which also means that these books haven't been updated for the 20, 21st century, okay? So reading a lot of the Dover reprints, yes, the language is going to feel old and archaic, but don't let that deter you. There are some crazy, crazy, crazy uh, gems in these Dover reprints and some awesome uh, tricks and well-known slights. And I would think any magician worth their salt would recommend these Dover reprints to you. And I've done some other uh, reviews in the past for some of the other Dover books. I would highly recommend you checking those out. If you don't know, Arthur Buckley was born in Australia and he became well-known in America for the magic. He worked with cards on uh, a lot of the major vaudeville circuits back in the 1920s. He was schooled by the great sleight of hand artists that he met in the entertainment business and by professional gamblers that he met along his early touring in Australia. And his absolute mastery of the most powerful, artful, and demanding card handling routines was legendary. In 1946, he wrote this book, this practical guide, revealing the detail and secrets of his card magic. And any magician or card conjurer who I think aspires to be proficient in card manipulation will want to have this indispensable reference in their library. This profusely illustrated book demonstrates step-by-step step the astonishing card magic cultivated by one of the premier sleight-of-hand artists of the 20th century. It presents maneuvers that have left theater audiences amazed and that card-playing professionals used to their great advantage. It is not a book for beginners, but will help those with basic card expertise reach new levels of performance in their art. Uh, among the moves are shifts, palms, glides, false shuffles, cuts, fans, and steals. You'll learn how to do the false table riffle shuffle, how to deal from the bottom, how to know an opponent's whole card, how to warm up a cold deck, and so much more. In addition, the author presents 40 dazzling deceptions guaranteed to amaze your audience. Buckley's book contains more original and practical material than hundreds of lesser known books put together. You know, there are other authors that have shied away from many of Buckley's techniques because of their being difficult, but that shouldn't deter you. Uh, hard work and determination are gonna make you a better card performer. Also, Buckley's detailed analysis of existing standard slights suggests dozens of new applications. This book is divided into four different sections. Uh, the first section is slights, and it's just an outstanding compendium of different card slights featuring dozens of top-bottom palms, uh, false shuffles, both the Hindu, the overhand, the dovetail, a one-handed double lift, and the multiple strip-out palm steal. The second section is called Conjuring at the Card Table. A number of techniques and routines are in here based on uh, different gambling uh, slights. And this section features several excellent second deals, uh, methods of restoring the cut, culling, and stacking methods. The third section is called Manipulations. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, harder things in here, like the difficult back palm uh, slights that Cardini used. Uh, many of these principles uh, are probably more suitable for stage uh, or parlor and probably not as readily used today, but I would say that they are uh, wonderful to learn. Uh, and if you can pull them off successfully in a close-up context, uh, especially some of these flourishes, uh, you'll be greatly rewarded. The last section, uh, like I alluded to earlier, is called 40 Experiments. It's an excellent collection of intermediate and advanced uh, magic tricks with cards. Uh, you're not going to find any props in here. There's no fakes. There's no duplicates. Uh, you know, none, none of that stooging stuff. Each effect features enough fine ideas to suggest several new directions if you're a very careful reader. I would say enjoy this book, love this book, get this book, especially if you're trying to go to the next level of card magic. Yes. Like I said, the language is gonna be a little difficult to muddle through, but don't let that deter you. Uh, hard work and determination will pay off and make you a better 
card performer. All right, so that is my review for Card Control from Arthur Buckley, and it is available as a Dover reprint. As always, we suggest that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you'd like more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.